And the sea's always the same. It's, it's a beast that can't be tamed. It's Mother Nature. And you've always got to be wary of it. A day in the fishing is not really a day. A day starts when you leave and it finishes when you come home again. So a 24 hour day doesn't really exist there. Being a fisherman, when I, the boys were little, I hardly saw them because I was away from home. But when they left the school and came working with me, the, it was all changed. And we're, I'm not just their father, I'm their best friend, or I count them as my best friend as well. Fishing is not just a job as such, it's a way of life. And it, the stocks would crash if it wasn't sustainable fishing. So if I had sons and children that actually wanted to go to fishing, which I would like, I hope there is a future in it for them. The fishing industry is immense to the community. This community in Gardenston, where we're at at the moment, is, over the last years has absolutely died with, with the decline in the fishing industry. I think it's important for the younger generation to actually understand how fisheries are managed. They need to be taught. This is something we've never been taught in the 34 years that I've been a fisherman. We've never known how fisheries are actually managed, how the science interacts with the fishing. The FITF work course that we're doing, when I was looking at the agenda, the things that popped out to me would be like how the science and policy comes together. I'd like to know more about that. This course has been a passion of mine for a lot of years and I'm really glad to see it. it's actually come to fruition now and we can get some of these people in and educate them better, and myself included, old and young. We're here at the pilot uh, course for the Fishing Into the Future uh, Skippers Training, Fishery Science and Management Introduction. I think it's fair to say that uh, fishermen and scientists um, don't really speak the same language. Fishermen are trained to catch fish, scientists and managers are often trained to save fish, and so creating a common uh, discussion forum really allows us to get to a place where we can share experiences and, and really do what's best both for the industry and for the fisheries. And so bringing the actual practitioners of the various science and management aspects into a room with the fishermen and creating interactive opportunities both for some downloading of what's the content and the material but then a chance for question and answers and then some basic activities and fun games that, that help us really be a bit playful with it and play out some, some different strategies and you can kind of see in action. For about 20 years now I've been meeting with fishermen as a chief executive and I've been trying to explain why governments made decisions, why science is saying this and I always said to myself that the missing element in there was, was training, it was giving them information. They need to know more about the whole operation, not just catching fish, it's about the science, it's about the markets, it's about management, it's about a broad range of issues. Fishermen are very hands-on and, and sort of really learn often by experiencing. The otolith, for instance, and learning the importance of the information that's encoded in that little hard drive inside a fish's head, um, it's invaluable. It's always, it's always fun to give it a bit of hands-on and get, get your hands dirty, should I say, and just breaks it up a little bit instead of just sitting and listening, actually getting to do something. I knew a little bit about it, but I didn't actually know the bones actually came from behind the ear, and I didn't know they actually counted them like the rings, like a, a tree trunk. I think it's really knitting together. What I've seen is the way people are responding. They're bringing up questions that relate to one activity or one presentation. They're bringing that knowledge and feeding it through into the next one. So you can see that connection that the learning is building from step to step. 
when I've come here today and in, in these past few days to see that many young skippers with terrific questions, critical um, insights, and an ability to sort of think beyond their own, uh, their own selves uh, for the broader community. And I'm hopeful for the future based on what I'm seeing about their willingness to, to learn, listen, and, and adapt as well. Well, I would really like just to thank all the people who organised it, Jim and Alexa. So it's, it's made a big difference and it's been really good. Have, uh, having been at the course, I'll be going back and telling younger fishermen that I know that this is a course, if it's done again, they should definitely be attending because it puts them right in the picture. Informative, worthwhile and good fun. I'd recommend the course to anyone. Absolutely love it. It's the best job in the world. You see some things that other people will never see in a lifetime. You've got to make sure that the future's there for the, for the younger people and other generations coming into it. Well, when I think of the sea, I just, it feels home to me. It just feels like I should be there.